Hey, what's up, Meatloaf Virgin Gang? Yeah, see, I'm still reading those comments. I'm still taking those requests. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Today's Boo Boo Card of the Day is going to be another than Fortress EX. I wonder how many people actually opened Clay Burst, got this card, and basically just cursed the gods above them that they did not get the card they wanted. Probably, I don't know. That's what I would assume most people were wanting. Honestly, these Trash Lives cards are pretty nice. I know they're not usually the chase cards in the set. This one in particular, the Green with Fortress EX, it's, it's a super nice card. And honestly, having these in your collection, I, it's something I think people will look back on and look back at fondly, whether it's financially or for how the card looks anyway. want to talk about Master Balls today. No, and I'm not going to be bitching about prices about them again. That's next week. I'll, I'll complain about the prices on them again next week. But no, I want to actually talk about something I noticed today. So I was actually perusing the Ebays, looking Looking at uh, old 151 cards, right? Just checking them out. Grabbed a bunch of the full art cards nobody seems to want, which I also think is kind of weird because most people fucking blow the dong that is 151 Pokemon, like the original Kanto Indigo League Pokedex. Like, oh, these are the only Pokemon I fucking think are cool. But then they come out, people pull like a full art Golem, and then they get super fucking mad about it for some reason. It's like, bro, thought this set was made for you. Any card that you pull that's 151 is better than the crap Scarlet and Violet's putting out, right? But no. People still get mad. People still get upset. I wonder if it has something to do with anything else. Hmm, I wonder. Anyway, off topic. <laughs> I, I, uh, I bought a bunch of those cards, right? Because I don't care. I think they look great. I like collecting full arts and all that stuff. But I, I was looking around, and I noticed in the perusing section, the actual 151, the Master Balls are kind of floating around. I took a peek at them. I saw a trend, a really crappy trend that a couple people have already like highlighted, kind of. But I don't think anyone's really shown how bad it is. So let's pull up eBay real quick. Now, what you're looking at here is you're looking at a Gengar Master Ball. This is what your typical Master Ball will look like, right? This is what it's supposed to look like. Oh, but wait. Wait, some, something's wrong here, right? There's something. It's Master Ball Reverse. $75 plus $5 shipping. Hey, I got to get you on that $5. But that, that's a pretty good deal for these Master Balls, right? Especially for those Master Set collectors. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. But check this out. What, what's wrong with this picture right here? Oh, wait a second. That's just a regular-ass Pokeball. And there's people listening to it. Now, this is something when you're actually buying this stuff. Look. I don't support you motherfuckers buying the shit out of, like, reverse hollows at stupid, dumb prices. But if you're going to do it, I don't think you deserve to be scammed out of something. I would highly, highly advise when people are perusing, looking at this stuff, buying their high, expensive fucking reverse hollow cards, you just take a double look at your listing and make sure the picture they are showing is actually one of a Master Ball. This is what it should look like right here. Notice how it's got the fucking Princess Leia buns on the upper top part. It's got the little fucking tumors growing out of its head. It's got a fucking M on the top of it. If you can't see it super well on the Gengar, let me pull up this one. You can definitely see it a hell of a lot better on this Psyduck. This is what your typical Master Ball should look like. There's a Pokeball Reverse Hollow and there's a Master Ball Reverse Hollow. The Master Ball is much rarer. There's like one per box typically. It is just that I'm telling you. People are starting to, this is not an uncommon trend for people to do, where motherfuckers listen to stuff, look, Oddish Master Ball Hollow, oh, fucking check this shit, the Ox is starting at 175, that's a regular Pokeball Hollow, dude, this person right here, this Sky Breathe 12 is a fucking notorious person for doing it, they have so many listings of doing this shit, oh, look, we got Cycling Road, hey, remember the fucking 300 adults that were willing to, like, combat kids going down there, keeping people from going to Fuchsia City for this stuff, there's a Master Ball version of, oh, no, it's just a regular Pokeball version of it, oh, there's a nasty scratch on it, too, but there's a Master Ball, there's a Master Ball on it, that's that Sky Breathe person, there you are, you piece of shit, Right there, it's all Master Ball Hollow. Oh, that's not a Master Ball. It's, I, it, it amazes me, man. It amazes me what people do. No, it's not just one seller. This is pretty common for a lot of sellers. Look, there's Dragonite, a Master Ball Hollow. Leia, look there. There's no fucking nubs on there. There's no Princess Leia buns on this. It, it's so fucking goofy. Meowth. Toro, you, you get the idea, right? Look, I'm not supporting anybody paying these dumb prices. I'm not buying a fucking 151 booster box these prices. You guys want to blow that stuff, go for it. I'm going to buy the full arts for less than the price of a booster box. And I'm going to be sitting here laughing at the people pulling our box and golems when they should love that because they're big old 151 fans, right? Look, we don't always agree on a bunch of stuff. I still don't think you motherfuckers should be getting scammed out of something. You want to pay high value, high product bullshit. You should at least be getting your high value, high product bullshit, okay? That's that's something I think we can all agree on. No one should be getting scammed out of stuff. Take a look on eBay when you're actually checking this stuff, man. It is not uncommon for these fools to do this stuff. And they try to kind of like angle the photo a little bit. You know how like some people are like really good at angling their photos? You know how like on this side, like I look super good, but on this side I look like super bad? Yeah, that's, that's what people are doing. They're kind of trying to mask it and hide it a little bit. And this is not an uncommon trend on eBay at all, where people are trying to capitalize on the Master Ball hype. 
the 151 hype and everything else. I hope everyone who's opening 151's having a good time. I really do. I hope everyone's having a blast with it. Once again, I haven't opened any. I feel like I'm the only motherfucker that hasn't, but that's partially my fault. I'm getting a bunch of the full arts, though, so eh, it'll be all good. Hope everyone's having a good day. Hoping everyone's a good time. Just please, for the love of God, check eBay a little harder. Check them. There, there's a lot of listings like this. A lot of listings where people are claiming their Master Ball hollows, but you look at them a little harder. This takes advantage of people who do not know any better. I know me and you, the average Pokemon fan here, are relatively smart and know that's not a Master Ball. There's a bunch of new people in here who do not know shit. And for the positive group of people here, you should not want people getting fucked on that. Just spread the word. Look a little harder. That's all I got. Appreciate a version. See you later. Happy Saturday, you fucks.